So if you didn't know, besides doors giving us this new back doors floor zero area in the latest update, they actually added a bunch of secret updates to the normal doors hotel floors right there. And all of these include new spawn animation, new attack animation, and new KO animation for the eyes entity. Figure is now able to jump over objects and climb over objects. If you get past door 50 and rush spawns, and then you make your way all the way back, El Goblino now hides behind the table with a cute new message. And also Jeff will close up shop. And then if you also stare at a clock inside of doors for a whole entire hour and then make your way from the lobby to door 13 a new mysterious entity will spawn in and this new entity is known as dread and not only all that being added to the game i also encountered a new rare room variant that happened to me bro what is this what is this supposed to be why is every single freaking door a do oh my god these two are the only ones that say 46 and 47 any meeny miny mo catch a tiger by his toe i'm gonna go with 46 <laughs> so basically yeah there's a lot of new stuff they did not tell us about and today my goal is to make my way all the way from door zero to door 100 inside of this new secretly updated doors and i also have a goal where i need to get my hands on a crucifix and store it in my rift so, you know, I went ahead and made my way through the back doors real quick. I got my hands on three of the tiny potions. And I also wanted to get my hands on one of these. The big giant potion. Because just like how we're checking out new update things inside of doors today, I've also got some things I want to test out with these potions down here inside of normal doors. And ooh, this leads down to like a little door. What the? Hold on, we got secret doors down here. Bro, that would be so cool if they led to somewhere. Like maybe if you like kept a golden key from one of the doors and found like a lockpick or something. Then like you have a rare door that spawned in and it would be like a golden lockpick with a golden key. And it leads to like a different room. Okay, but I'm getting way too sidetracked, okay? I'm just too hyped about this update stuff, but I need to make my way back to the hotel. And here we are, the golden door back to the hotel. We've landed in through the golden arches. And also, guys, if you didn't know, you can actually create a golden rift. Okay, I just drank my big potion on accident. I did not mean to do that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna scream in my head really loud. And the way you do that is pretty simple. You just gotta swap out whatever's inside of your normal rift with the big golden glowy potion. And then you get a temporary golden rift that you can only use once. But uh, the cool thing about the normal rift now is that if I go ahead and uh, pop this potion, but then go ahead and grab the one out of it. Look at that, I was holding three of the minis inside of the normal rift. The rift can now hold multiple items of the same thing at once. All right, but uh, let me just go ahead and uh, loot up now. Oh my god, I'm already almost at 200 gold. It's time for us to make our way through the Doors Hotel with our brand new items right here. And like I said, I need to store a crucifix inside of my rift over there. And also, I kind of want to see what happens if I put the golden potion inside of the rift downstairs as well. So now all we need to do is make our way through door 1 to 100 and we should be chilling. And you know, that should be a light work for a pro like me. I have played doors so much. This painting is titled Alpha. Yeah, just like me for real. Ow! Okay, no, I just got another gate door. All right, yep, that's what I get for being cringe. Oh, but the lever's right there. Let's go! But guys, speaking of all this new update stuff, I'm really excited for that floor to update the drop. Like, it's literally gonna be so insane. Oh, man, okay, here comes Rush, here comes Rush. Oh, yeah, there we go. See you later, buddy. Okay, it kind of sucks coming to the hotel from the back door because I don't really get to get my hands on the early access shop. I only really have my big potion and my tiny little potions. Oh, but we got one of these. Maybe I can find some good loot in here. Come on. Come on, give me something good. Okay, lockpick. Anything else? Okay, we got a good amount of gold too. But for the experiments I want to try out is that I want to use one of these little golden tiny vials against Seek and see if I can get a head start from him. And also just use it around figure and see how he reacts. And then by the time we get to door 50, I also want to put this big vial and the tiny vial in front of Goblino and see what he says. Okay, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, rush spawn and, and eyes are right there. Oh, I almost got wombo comboed. Hold on, but there's another eyes down there. Hold on, let me see that new hit animation. Oh my god. Yo, that's way more intense. And also, bro, did a lot to my health. Okay, I need to find some band-aids. And I'm also noticing there is a lot more gold now that I came here through the back doors. Like, I'm already almost at 500 gold, and it's door 20. But I seriously wonder if the Doors Hotel is gonna be a little bit harder now that we have all of these new additions in the game. Okay, another light flicker. Here comes Rush. There he goes. 
Oh, and I found a skeleton key. What? This was literally just a lane on the table. Where did this come from? But we should be getting close to the seek chase. And we can experiment with one of our little vials down here against him. I'm also noticing a lot more dupe doors. I'm not enjoying this. I really hope I do not get a giant hallway full of dupe doors. Like the one clip I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. Okay, and no, here we go. Another dupe. Are you serious? And the seek eyes are spawning in. All right, we need to get our vial ready. It is go time. Oh, and some even more pre-game loot before. I have my battle with the Seek. Here we go. Let's run it. Hey, what's going on, Seek? Do you got a secret update too? Let me see it. Let me see what you got, my guy. Let me pop the bottle and let's see what happens. Okay, ooh, that actually made our speed a lot faster. We literally just got a nice boost right there. All right, we made it. We made it. Yes, sir. Look at this dude. He couldn't even get us. You can't catch me with this. But I really like that the clocks now track time inside of the game. I've only been here for a little bit over 10 minutes. And it seems like if you're indoors for over an hour now, that dread entity is gonna spawn in. And unless you can survive him in a closet and you got a crucifix, you are doomed. Oh, and new painting here with a pumpkin and a skeleton head. Wait, why have to say bosses? Yo, floor two lore? Oh, wait, here we go. Pre-door 50 lobby. I have been getting so much gold on this run. And also about the paintings. I know Captain Jack Attack has his own painting in the game. But how come I don't have a painting? You know, it's whatever. It's time, it's time to go against the new figure. Hey, what's up, figure? I heard you can climb and jump over things now. Let's run it. Let's see what you can really do. Okay, but I also cannot get eaten by this dude or I will lose all of my loot as well. All right, got the paper. Nah, if you can actually climb over things, I swear, bro. I'm gonna have so much fun with you trolling players. I remember about a year ago, I played this game with like 12 players, a full lobby, and I literally trolled all of them so well with figure. Oh, but he made his way back to the top. All right, let's see if he can climb over it. Oh my god, he can't. Okay, pop in the vial. I'm piecing out. Adios. Don't want to deal with you. Hey, buddy, you got a little close to my cheeks there. Nah, you can't beat me. I sweat Friday Night Funkin'. Okay, but I think I've had my phone with figure. I think I think I'm ready to get out of here. Hey, bro, you missing some bucks? Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen them. I wonder where they went. Oh my god, he is stomping about. All right, but boom, got the code up in the chat. I want to test something real quick before I open this door. Come on, I'm right here. Come on. Oh, he can't. Oh my god, he can't, he can't, he can't. Uh oh, I think I made him mad. Oh, I definitely made him mad. Yo. Oh, I thought he was going to come through the door for a second. Please. Please. Yes, there's one right there. Oh, Jeff, I love you so much. But I do have enough for a flashlight. I need one of those. I do not have enough gold for a pill bottle, though. I might have to come back. Oh, yeah. Watch where you swing that thing, hombre. Oof. Okay, yep, my bad, bro. Yeah, he, he still gets mad. Okay, but do you have anything to say about my potion? Oi, you like my wristbands, eh? To be real, I don't remember where I got them. No, what about the potion? Do you say anything about the big one? Enough chit-chat, hombre. You got places to be? All right, that's messed up, bro. Okay, well, Jeff, thank you for the items I needed. I might be back, but it's time to continue because I still have my other goal where I need to get to door 100 and store this crucifix. But maybe we might get rushed to spawn before we get to the... Yeah, he's gonna spawn. You coming over here, buddy? Okay, yep, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. That was a light filter right there. And there he goes! Yes! We might be able to get back to door 50 and see the new thing. Let me just loot around here real quick. Maybe I can get 100 gold for those pills as well. Okay, I did not get enough gold, but they are doing the new things. Bro, Jeff closed up shop. What? And yo, Gobblino's hiding. Oof, man. I thought we were safe in here. And Bob is just still chilling. All right. And of course, another dupe too. Bro, come on. You gotta be kidding me. You got... Uh, I have what I need. I just want to get out of here now. Are you growling? You growling at me? Hello? Okay. Okay, ooh, that's the right one. But since we're making our way past the little door 60 area, which if you go back here, it leads to the little rooms area. I gotta ask you guys this question. Did they add anything new into the rooms area for this update? Are there any secrets in there? Comment down below and let me know and I'll make a video on it. All right, and guys, I'm starting to realize I have a bit of a problem here. Okay, lights just flickered. That was not the problem I was talking about. But the problem I realize I have is that I have yet to find a candle and I am now starting to get very close to the garden area. And as we all know, it's gonna be a little bit annoying to get through that without a candle. Okay, but seriously, I really hope I come across the candle within the next 20 doors or I am doomed. Okay, ooh, wait, I got one of these big rooms. Maybe I can loot and find one in here. I did not find a candle. Okay. 
But if we do look at the clock on the wall in here, I've almost been in here for 30 minutes now. And if I'm in here for 30 minutes more, I might get my cheek spread open. So I need to hurry up and get the heck out of here. We did get our hands on a skeleton key that we just found lying about inside of the hotel. Give me that green, beautiful buff. Oh my God, so much gold too. Yo, yo. Oh my god, almost a thousand gold, what? And I still really wonder if this deepness painting entity is gonna be added into floor two. Like how they also have the paintings of silence and greed on the walls. Are those also gonna be in floor two? Comment down below, let me know what you think. All right, but here we go, Seek Chase part two. Let's run it, it's time to speed run this. survived whole okay and the lights are flickering super fast we're gonna have to deal with holt huh yep yeah yeah i'm gonna have to deal with holt okay here we go why does this dude always have to show up when i play this game door steps what did you do l splash what did you do oh the door's right there the door's right there you little i'm about to enter gardens without a candle i really gotta play this smart all right here we go entering gardens without a candle we're gonna play this so slow all right we're good ahead make our way through another door but now we're just gonna chill here and wait if rush comes in and oh yep there he is there he is i heard him I heard him. Oh, and the eye is spawned in as well. Where's Rush coming? Hello? I screech. I don't hear Rush. I do not hear Rush. I don't hear Rush. Gonna go to the next one. Oh, I hear him now, though. Whoa! Okay, you know what? Next door's over here. 99. All right, there we go. Oh, we need a closet. Oh, we definitely need a closet. And then door 99. Is Rush coming? Is he rushing on his way? Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We did it. We did it. We completed our final goal of getting from door zero to door 100. And now we get to mess around with the rift. All right, but let's get it. Pull the lever. Get figure the spawn in. All right, now run for the room. Run for the room. Run for the room. Run for the room. Can't okay, get me. Ha ha. Ha ha. And there goes figure making his way out of here. Which means that now we can mess with the little rift down there with our big potion, tiny potion, and our crucifix. I really wonder if we can get a golden rift down here too. That would mean we would have three rifts to use inside of this game. Wait, the golden rift's already down here? Wait, what? Wait, does that mean we don't need to create one? Or does another one create right here? Do we get a third one? Oh, I really want to, but now that I have two already, I kind of want to put this golden vial inside of the golden rift. Oh, what to do? What to do? You know, guys, comment down below. Let me know if I would have put my potion in here and it made another one right there. Let me know if it's possible and I will do it in another video. But I think for now, I'm going to put my big golden one inside of the golden rift. And then that also leaves us space to put our crucifix in here. Yes, sir. Let's go. And now it is time for us to get the heck out of here. So let me just go ahead and quickly get these power switches. All right, boom, I got all of the power switches. Let me go ahead and put them in. Burn! Burn, you terrible creature! Get out of here! And now it's time to restore the power. And there we go, power is back on. I'm getting out of here! Nah, no way. No way I beat the new secretly updated doors in one try. I'm too good at this game. No, nah, this is literally proof that I am the doors pro. And if you agree, as always, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and comment down below for more doors videos.